button. Okay, there we go. And the sun. Okay, oh, I think we're only gonna go right across the street, so. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered to wake you up, huh? Oh, there's a way out of here. What's the name of that place? Basol Fazoli's. Fazol. Okay. And look at this road. Can you believe this is Champagne Urbana, this road? They never used to have this kind of. This is a new road. It's kind of deterioration. Okay, now Lowe's has some lights that are complex fluorescents that are really white, whiter than sunlight, I think. I think they're as white as moonlight. It's my contention that moonlight is whiter than sunlight. That uh, your, your eye adapted for low light level when the moon is out. I mean, you can't see from the stars, but when the moon is out, you can see. And so the, you know, the blank vision you could almost say that rod vision is moon vision, you know? Lunar vision, lunar light. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> but I think that's whiter. The pale moon is whiter than the sun. They're both whiter than this red light. So evolutionarily, white should be the thing that you, you know, that, that the lowest light level you see at. You want to make use of all the spectrum. So I think moonlight defines white, not sunlight. Then these guys get into all this stuff about the color temperature of moonlight. Well, it's reflected, so the spectrum gets holes in it by the green cheese. Where green cheese absorbs part of the light and reflects and maybe even translates some of it. But oh no. So the moonlight doesn't really fit the color temperature model. Because it's not a black body radiator the way the sun is. Anyway, I think maybe this got moved a little bit. Maybe not. It's looking at that post, huh? Okay, now you keep the car warm. I'll be right back. <laughs> 